up YouTube and welcome to my front porch for our free Friday. It's going to be another great day. Who says that? Lee Mack. Today we're going to be talking about playing solo harmonica or playing on the street or busking. <laughs> All right, so what's up with it? What's up with it? First of all, I look like I look like a street person today. TSA took my good razor. I got a fancy razor, you know, one of those old school ones. Once you go to those guys, men out there, once you go to those razors, you're never going to want to go back to the to the those cartridge razors. You're never going to want to do it. So anyway, I'm on strike until I get my new razor. So sorry. <laughs> sorry about that on the street, playing on the street. The whole word busking, right? Like I, I never even heard that until like, probably like, I don't know, 15 years ago, right? It was always playing on the street. <laughs> now, now it has a formal word. If you're using the word busking, it might be because you probably don't need to play on the street. Now, I've needed to play on the street in my life, right? Like. If I wanted money for certain things, I had to go out and do that. And I've done that all over the country in various times of need. Um, it was never something I wanted to do. It was something I felt like I had to do. If I wanted to play, I would play at a club with a band. <laughs> so here's the thing, I learned some hard lessons out there about how to make money and I'm here today to share them with you. Okay, so let me give you the story about what happened to me. When I first got out there I thought well the fancier I play the better, the more money I'm gonna make, right? So I was out there doing my little classical thing. And nobody cared. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cared. Nobody cared, right? They would look at me and go, Oh, wow, that's amazing. I've never heard a harmonica sound like that before. And then they'd keep walking. No money in the bucket. So, eventually, I don't know what happened. I got sick of trying to keep myself entertained with all this... All this fancy stuff. And I, and I just started <clears throat> keeping myself entertained in a different way by getting in a little groove. And for some reason or another, that groove would just make the day go by faster. One, two, three. I'm just going to make it up. I just made that up. Okay. <clears throat> so what's it about? It's about repetition and it's about groove. You take something and you put it on repeat. Okay. That's how you make money playing on the street. You want to get them dancing like a block away, right? If you got a little battery powered amp, sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. You can pick those up for really cheap, by the way. Like you can find them in pawn shops. 50 bucks, 40 bucks. A little battery powered amp. You don't need a fancy microphone. So if, you, if you're living on the street, right, take some of your street money, it's gonna be hard. And reinvest it into that. And then the batteries is the only other problem after that. Some of those amps charge now. Anyway, 
once I started hitting those repetitive grooves, right? Once I started playing those same things over and over again, like I said, I would see them moving. I would see them moving. And then they would get closer and closer. And then once they got to me, that's when I would start to kind of put in some of that fancy stuff, but keep going back to the groove. So it was like I was going off of it, okay? So let's just, I'll just make up another one. Now they're walking and they're kind of they're kind of feeling the groove right and I get them close to me and I and I might do something like this so I'm, I can play in the groove And then the more that I get them paying attention, the further I'll go away from that groove. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's what I do. That's what I do. And it works. It works. It's all about repetition. You know... I'll put some tab on this for some of these things, but it's not about that. And you're gonna run out of songs on the street. Now, there's another thing. If you're gonna play on the street, you do need to have a couple of songs. They can't all be just groovy jams. They, I mean, unless you want them to be, but right. I'm talking about making money out there. You wanna know a few, right? You, if you wanna know happy birthday, right? <laughs> In case it's somebody's birthday. And you can make up, you know, like, I don't know how you would know that, but you might know that, right? Um, like, anything. It could be, you know, and you want to play that with as much of a groove as possible, too, okay? But, uh, like, uh, here in New Orleans, <clears throat> when the Saints play, if you want to make, like, four or $500, I'm not kidding, but four or $500, you go outside the, the Superdome, and you play the Saints go marching in when they're coming out. Win or lose, you'll make more money when they win, but you still make money when they lose. You probably make like $150 if they lose. If they win, you make four or $500. Maybe more depending upon who they play. Yeah, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> brush up on your tunes so that doesn't happen right you want to get out there you know it's good to know it's good to know some standards right like some amazing grace or whatever now if you can sing you guys might have noticed that late, lately I've been putting up a lot of solo harmonica stuff I just dropped that rolling and tumbling yesterday and before that I had that jump around the line but Something's on my mind. So it, it doesn't it doesn't hurt to be able to sing, but you don't have to, okay? Most of the time I didn't. You don't all have to be one chord vamps and and little groove things, right? But but I'm telling you what, if you want some good ones, listen to Adam Gusso. Listen to how he played behind Mr. Satan. There's a lot of that stuff. Like one of my favorite ones is I 
learned a lot from just listening to him do that kind of stuff, like making up my own and stuff. And I'm not even sure that one was exact, but it's in the spirit of the Gusso thing. And it was just this constant driving groove that makes people want to move and be involved in music. That's how you make money playing on the street. And, and that's how you don't run out of songs. You want to save your songs for certain people. They might ask you, write, write requests. If you can, if you know a lot of songs and, and, you're, and you're out there and you can say you got any requests and you can play Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas or Jingle Bells or, or, or even Autumn Leaves or whatever it is, right? That's going to go well. Summertime, whatever. You're going to, you know, you might get a five or a 10 or a 20 or a hundred dollar bill if you know something that somebody asked for so that's good but you're gonna be out there all day and you're gonna be bored right it's gonna take it's gonna take five six seven hours to, depending upon where you live if you live in a major metropolitan area to put together 75 or 100 bucks right it depends you can get it all at once or you can get it over the course of the day but you're gonna get it if you stay out there but you need to have some consistent grooves to keep you going, okay? Now the other thing is, you can have some ones that have changes. Not like I said, not just one chord stuff. So learning a little boogie woogie shuffle. This channel has a lot of that stuff. If you look at arpeggiating six chords, arpeggi arpeggiating seventh chords, they're not just like musical exercises, guys. They're not just like, it's not just like arpeggiating seventh chords. No, like it says in parentheses behind those, like walking blues bass line. Like it's the stuff that you hear all the pianos and basses and guitars doing. Right, so I'm keeping that groove. <laughs> really staying true to the form of it. So I'm not going off a lot. I'm making little subtle changes. So instead of... I might go... changes are really fun and they're really really rhythmic i came up with my version of that the low rider the album dirty memory uh with jj appleton and the song's called jason solo so it's like you know i'm playing i'm playing like a train thing there's another one you want to get some good train chugs check out my video linked below on chugging on the inhale only you can do any kind of chugging but like So you got you're gonna have to have a good train. Like I'm telling you, you're gonna have if you wanna go play on the street, start working on your train right now. Turn the video off and just go to the other video of mine or go to other people's videos and just start getting your train right. So I'll tell you what, if you learn to play harmonica and you start going out, one of the first things people are gonna start asking you for is play some of that train stuff and you're gonna wanna, wanna go immediately. <laughs> Right, 
you gonna win? So anyway, in the middle of that solo, right, I went into this low rider thing, and that's where you hear some of these cool percussive beatbox stuff. See, here's the thing, that was the first time I ever did the beatbox stuff. I was playing on the street on Gentilly, out in front of Jazz Fest. I was really bad off on drugs at that time. And so I was out there making lots of money during Jazz Fest and spending lots of money too. So I'm in the middle of that train solo. thing is the groove I actually came up with the train with the, those noises as a result of just being so involved in one and two and three and four and about check a boat one three and four and one three and four and that's where it is, right? So it's, it's all in that constant groove. And you don't have to be, like, have all these fancy chops that I have to groove. You could just... I'm just making that up right now. Like, I made that up right now. Just having a... It's all about... First comes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four... <laughs> you just make it up, you get in the groove first, and then everything comes later. So, groove number one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't forget chords. You got a harmonica. Right? There's no other band. What do you need when you have a harmonica and no other band? What's music? Melody, rhythm, and harmony. So you're the melody. You also need to find the rhythm and the harmony. Right? So you might want to hit some chord changes. You might want to uh, keep a steady groove no matter what. You don't have to tongue block, but it doesn't hurt to tongue block because you get that nice rhythmic sound. You could fake tongue block. You know, where you open and close your mouth, kind of like Alan used to do. Right, anyway. <clears throat> That's playing on the street, guys. Busking. Busking. What a dumb word. It's how, where'd that word even come from? Hello there. Where'd that word even come from? Busking. What is to, to busk? I don't know. You tell me in the comment section if you like the word. Sorry, I'm making fun of it. <laughs> been a busy week coming home from Washington. I'm really happy to be home in New Orleans. I loved Washington State. It was beautiful and it was really fun making the videos for you from out there. I had a good time. 
sitting in my mom's garage and uh, she's okay y'all like a lot of you guys asked you know she's feeling really sick and you know but she she's hanging in there and I appreciate the you guys reaching out um, what an incredible life and uh, a lot of that is because of y'all and because of uh, the support that you give me on patreon that allows me to make really really good decisions with where and when I perform um, this platform, YouTube and Patreon and the students I teach has made me self-sufficient to the point where I'm not having to go out on the street and play. And if I did want to go out and busk, right, busking's for fun, playing on the streets for money. <laughs> if I did want to go out, I'd be busking, not playing on the street. All right. I'm very grateful, very lucky, very blessed, y'all, very blessed. And thank you very, very much for tuning in to another free Friday. Stay tuned for the credit. Thank you everybody for tuning in to Free Fridays right here on YouTube. Subscribe today. Click the subscribe button for hundreds of free harmonica lessons. If you like what I'm putting down and you'd like to support the cause, go the extra mile. Be sure to visit my Patreon page. Patreon patrons, thank you very much. You're making these lessons an absolute priority in my life, no matter how busy I get. A free lesson happens every Friday. For as low as a dollar a month, that's 25 cents a lesson, you can become a Patreon patron. If you're doing a little better and you can donate more, that's great. Every time you become a Patreon patron, you're helping somebody else out there that doesn't have a credit card, that doesn't have a dollar a month, to continue to get free harmonica instruction and much, much more. Remember, we got product reviews here on this channel. We do videos on addiction and bipolar disorder. We got blues stories. We got performance videos and everything right here on Jason Rich's YouTube. Subscribe today. I'd like to thank Honer Harmonicas. And I'd like to thank Blue Moon Harmonicas, making custom parts for any harmonica that you might have at home. Blue Moon has got you. The Lone Wolf Blues Company, Pedals, amplifiers, microphones, you name it, much more. Right here out of Louisiana, the Lone Wolf Blues Company is bringing you the best in customer service for almost any kind of amplified blues harmonica needs that you may have. Speaking of amplifiers, Harp Gear amplifiers, check them out. The very best, Harp Gear, right out of Ocala, Florida. I got a website, www.mooncat.org. Check me out on mooncat.org. I got tour dates happening all over the place. I'm going all over the country this year, playing tour dates with JJ Appleton, with Damon Fowler, with JP Soares, with my own band, with Joe Crown, all kinds of people. I'll be in Vegas in a couple of weeks. www.mooncat.org. T-shirts, lesson information, all of that. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. We do this every single Friday, and then every now and then I throw you some more stuff right here at Jason Rich's YouTube. A mooncat, love and appreciate all y'all. Thank you. Mm -hmm.